All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the first of these kind of vlog style videos I'm gonna be doing as a Patreon exclusive at first and then I'm gonna be putting them up on my second YouTube channel about a month after putting up the video on Patreon. So I just thought this would be kind of a cool video to do. I just kind of show some more of the behind the scenes stuff that never really makes it into the project videos and do kind of a little bit of like a slice of life type of content. So. Uh, headed down to Asheville to pick up a bunch of materials today. I'm getting some ePay uh, 3x3s for a outdoor dining table that I'm building. That's going to be the top. And I'm also going to be buying some steel uh, square tubing, both for the Wood Whisperer Guild project that I'm going to be doing. It's a extension dining table. I'm, I'm building that for my parents. That's going to be my first project on the Wood Whisperer Guild. And I'm also getting some more square tubing for the base of that outdoor dining table. So. Let's head down to Asheville. Uh, I'm going to be buying the ePay at a place called Scrounger's Paradise. It's a kind of an odd little store, uh, not little at all, actually it's a big warehouse down in Asheville that has a hodgepodge collection of different types of materials, all kinds of weird wood um, and stuff like that. But uh, I'll get some footage there once we get there. So let's go ahead and hit the road. So I got all the Ipe 3x3s here at Scrounger's. Got them all loaded up. Definitely not cheap, about 500 bucks, but uh, this dining table should last, I mean, years and years and years. That's the beauty of Ipe and all these kind of tropical hardwoods is that they're really, really resilient to uh, weather kind of breaking down the wood. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to Mountain Steel. So let's do it. All right, got the truck loaded up back there. Got a bunch of steel on ePay, and uh, now we can go ahead and get headed back home. All right, guys, been a couple days since I updated you. Just kind of wanted to show you what I have cooking here in the shop. Let me turn the camera around here. Their day, just kind of resting, getting acclimated here in the shop. And then here's all that steel, got it unloaded. Excuse the mess over here. Um, so yeah, I've got the steel for the guild project, the extension dining table, and then as well as the outdoor dining table I'm doing. Also got some Trex here, and I've never worked with Trex, but uh, True Value, I worked with, uh, I think back in like November or February, I guess, February. Uh, they are sponsoring a project coming up in a couple weeks. They sent me this Orca cooler, uh, which I guess they're selling now, and they wanted me to build kind of a patio cooler type of thing. So I came up with this kind of cool design. Um, I'm basically using the Trex as just kind of an exterior covering for this pressure treated pine to make it look a little nicer. But this is your little cubby for the cooler here. And then you've got a little shelf, which would be great for, you know, keeping maybe a little bucket of ice for making mixed drinks or extra snacks or whatever. Uh, this little shelf would be good for a lot of stuff. And then, I kind of got about halfway through this yesterday. Still need to add Trex to the sides and to the front here, but it's coming along really well. The Trex cuts really nicely. It looks good. Um, it kind of just looks like painted wood, uh, which I'm really digging. And then for the base, I'm gonna be using black pipe, which I've actually never used on a project before. So uh, had to go back and get this center section recut and swap out a couple fittings. That stuff's really kind of hard to nail down an exact measurement, but it's at a good spot right now. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna be using these casters with these little adapters. So that way it'll stick right up into the bottom of the black pipe. And that way I'll be able to roll around the patio cooler. So we'll be painting the base black. I got a uh, recommendation for this stuff in the comments section. So we'll see if that's any better. And uh, yeah, so pretty excited. <clears throat> 
about this one being done. I don't think it'll probably be out by the time this comes out. I don't think that's gonna be out till later in June, but uh, excited about how that one's coming along. But uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick behind the scenes update. The Guild project is coming along nicely. I got kind of part one, the introduction done. Um, started milling up some of the lumber here. This stuff looks really cool. This is that reclaimed white oak. Uh, I've never really worked with reclaimed wood on this scale before, so it should be kind of an interesting challenge. I've got plenty of it, so it should be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, things are going good. Definitely busy here in the shop for sure, but glad to be kind of back at it. Took a couple weeks off there with the new baby, who's doing well, by the way, and uh, happy to be back at work. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. I'll catch you guys soon. Here's a little finished footage of that patio cooler I was just working on. Just finished it up. Really happy with the way it came together. I think the black pipe base looks really cool. The Trex looks great. It just looks like painted wood. And then saw the little bottle cap with the magnetic catch here, which is pretty sweet. So that one should be out later in June, but you guys get a little sneak peek here. Whew. All right, guys, got the guitar hanger video just put out. So that one, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Bent lamination. It's probably been a number of weeks since that video came out, but you guys should definitely go check that out if you haven't already. But just now need to get the shop cleaned up and get ready to get started on the next project, which is all this Ipe here on the table saw. We'll be getting turned into a big outdoor dining table. It's going to weigh a ton. I've got 11 Ipe 3x3s. They're all six feet long. Then a bunch of steel. You guys saw me buy those, uh, I guess, last week or the week before. But uh, yeah, it's going good. Also, just got this new gimbal for my phone. So hopefully this will be a little bit more stable. Um, you know, upgrading the kind of quality for you guys, hopefully. Uh, also... As you might have seen, the new YouTube sponsor feature. So hopefully a lot of you guys are on the YouTube side rather than the Patreon side. Either way, I appreciate the support and excited to be doing these videos. I think it's a cool thing. You know, I don't really do any of this kind of talking to the camera vloggy style stuff otherwise. So kind of a nice change of pace for sure. So um, yeah, just wanted to check in and give you guys a quick update. Things are going good. So I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, so last day of May, just want to close out this month's vlog, which is the first vlog. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I want to show you another little behind the scenes kind of tidbit here. Let me turn the camera around. So I have replaced my old crappy CNC table, which was actually just an Ikea uh, <laughs> bar table with this sweet new table from Rockler. Um, and it is really cool. It's just one of their work stand kind of leg kits with some of their casters. And I actually had these double layered OSB pieces left over from, I used to have a home gym in this hallway and this was my deadlifting platform, but it just makes for the perfect kind of setup for uh, this type of CNC work because then it's flat and sturdy and doesn't want to flex in the middle and all that stuff. So obviously I still have some setup to do here. And I did have a drawer kind of right in the middle here on the last table and I really liked that because I could kind of have my keyboard and mouse there. So I need to figure out something for that as well. And then as you can see, I still have this other piece of OSB which will end up making up the bottom shelf of that guy. But sweet setup if you guys have an x carve especially this big guy this work table is perfect this is 48 by 60 and you've got just a few inches on either side of extra space and i am really digging it so but otherwise shop is looking pretty good got the trivet video done it'll definitely be out by the time you guys see this these are those little trivets in case you missed those I'm pretty happy with the way they came out for scraps and uh, still finishing up that Ipe dining table right here, which is a monster, but is getting there and should be done by this weekend, hopefully. So yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of vlog content. I want to say a big thanks to all my new YouTube sponsors. 
This is a really cool new way for me to kind of interact with you guys. And I'm excited to have you guys on board and kind of be encouraging me to do this behind the scenes type of stuff. So if there's anything in my shop that you want to see that I haven't covered in a video or something like that, let me know. Uh, but you know, in the future, I'm just going to keep kind of bringing you guys along when I go places and, and do that kind of stuff. And you know, I could have probably gotten even a little bit more footage this month. So I'm going to keep trying to, to get better at this. This takes a little getting used to because this is footage I just haven't been getting to date. So, but everything's going good. Hopefully you guys are doing good and I will see you, I guess, at the end of June for the next vlog. All right. Thanks y'all.